click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of machine design 1. We are right now solving a numerical on muff coupling. In the last session, we have figured out the dimensions of the shaft as well as the dimensions with the standard proportion of the muff. In this session, we are going to prove that those dimensions are safe as far as the metal properties are concerned and then we will go for the key selection which is very essential part of this coupling. So let us move ahead. So students, let us take out only two parameters as of now from the previous lecture and that is nothing but the diameter of muff and the length of the muff. Now we know that muff, of course we have discussed this topic, we know that the length of the muff and the failure has the close relation because the failure will be using torsional or in compression. So let us start with the torsional equations. Now we know that by torsional equations the relation between the torque or the torque moment and the shear stress is this where j is your polar moment of inertia. Now the muff being hollow in section if you look at it properly with this cross section we know that muff is a hollow section and that's why we must consider the board diameters and therefore when we substitute the values we will get the answer in relation with this particular polar moment of inertia. Let me mention diameter D also here. Now when I substitute the values, where 103 is the muff diameter, 45 is the diameter of shaft. After solving this expression, we get the value of J somewhere equal to, of course it is in terms of millimeter cube. somewhere around this value. The second thing is radius which is the extreme fiber radius. In this case it becomes 103 divided by 2 and therefore R value comes out to be millimeter. Now these two parameters we are going to use here. So the torque or the torsional value is equal to mt divided by j into R where the value comes out to be, of course empty value we have already figured out, as we solve this expression we get the answer for tau somewhere equal to 3.09 Newton per millimeter square. Now as far as the safety is concerned let us compare this value with the previous value of the allowable value. So we know that for sleeve, for the given material, allowable tau is equal to, with the allowable value, is this one. Here it is very clear that the induced torque or induced shear stress in this case is much much smaller than the allowable value of shear stress and hence we can say that the muff is safe in shear. This is our first impression. The second part which we are talking about right now is key selection. Now we know that key is an important parameter or which the holding capacity depends upon. So the diameter of shaft that we already know is 45 millimeter. This is standard practice that the length of key is assumed to be exactly half of that of the length of the shaft. Now the length of the shaft in our case is going to be the length of the muff. That is 160 divided by 2. And that comes out to be 80 millimeter. So these are the two important parameters which we have selected about the key. Now we know that the key is going to fail under two criteria. The first criteria of course is shear failure and second is the crushing failure or the compressive failure. Now 
In this, we have already gone through this key selection design procedure. So the formula we are directly picking up. So this is the standard formula as far as the shear failure is concerned. And this is the standard formula as far as the crushing failure is concerned. And therefore, the value of tau will be given in terms of and value of compressive stress is given by where the value of L is nothing but this one, value of D is nothing but this one and this is going to be the breadth. Same thing about this diameter of the shaft, H is the height of the keyway. So let us substitute the values. Now for the diameter 45 millimeter of the shaft, there is a standard selection for the key. So let us write that part here. Now from PSG section of keys, for the shaft diameter 45 millimeter, a standard key available is and therefore 14 is its breadth and 8 is its height. We can say depth or height. Now using these two values, we can figure out the value of the tau. So tau c comes out to be somewhere around 26.32 Newton per millimeter square. The same thing we can do about the compressive stress. It comes out to be divided by the given expression of into length of the key. So the value comes out to be somewhere around 81.87 Newton per millimeter square. Now let us compare this. We know that tau allowable, of course we are discussing this about key, about key properties of course. Tau allowable here is equal to 50 Newton per millimeter square of course which is sigma y allowable divided by 2 therefore on comparing we know that tau which is induced inside it it's smaller than tau which is allowed and hence key is safe in shear whereas we know that Sigma C allowable for again the key material is somewhere around 100 Newton per millimeter square. Therefore, after comparison, we can come to the conclusion that Sigma C which is induced is smaller than Sigma C which is allowable. And hence, I can say key is again safe in shear. And therefore, final selection of key we can say is 14 by 8 by 60 millimeter where this is the breadth height and the length so there we end with the selection of the key and the complete problem is solved here thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to ikeda thank you